what is up my beautiful golden souls how are you guys doing today i am being called to do a collective read so if you are being led here today welcome welcome get comfortable because we might be here for a while um i want to truly thank you guys so much before i jump into this reading today i definitely like truly 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 value you guys thank you so much for you know tuning in I hope that you guys subscribe, like, comment. It actually helps to grow the channel, so you're helping me. So with just that little click, I <laughs> I actually am being, you know, helped. So thank you guys for that. And without further ado, I do want to go ahead and get started. So I'm definitely going to be cleansing the energy before I jump straight into it. So I'm going to be burning my dragon's blood sage today this is very 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 powerful a very good herb i definitely suggest that you guys go get it it is a very 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 you know supportive burning sage that i love to get into and before i start i'm gonna cleanse my decks here cleanse my space Ancestors of the highest white light, I ask that you come in to protect me and allow for me to interpret the direct and clairvoyant message that I am to be communicating today. Please and thank you. And I ask for this space to be cleansed and purified with love. Please and thank you. All right. I'm going to open up myself to channel in this direct and clairvoyant message. All righty. So what I am to first is some overall energy I want to see what it is that our angels would like for us to know today all right abundance Ooh. if you believe in abundance that is beautiful like that's the overall energy right there well <laughs> and then bottom of the deck we have no so let's see what our ancestors want for us to get into today what is it that we're tapping into please and thank you all right all right, if you believe in abundance, that is beautiful. Mm, okay. Okay. They want it to be to the side. So let's let it. What is this moving on? Okay, so I'm going to point this out to you guys before we even start. So at the bottom of this deck right here, the angel message deck, it said let go. I kind of tried to brush it off, right? <laughs> but then this came out. Moving on, but it came out like this. When it comes out sideways, just to inform you guys, sometimes I'm called to leave it. You know, sometimes I'm called to just flip it in the upright. But it's like when it's in the uh sideways position it's more so like um you're you're getting there you're in the makings you're in the doings of it you know it's kind of happening now you haven't fully embodied it but it's 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 happening it's coming so i want to know what is it that you're moving on from why is moving on out here please and thank you okay thank you thank you All right, ooh. Mm. So we have 99 right here for starters. Hmm. All right. 
right, so we have dreams are coming true in the reverse, rest and reconsider in the reverse, observe in the upright, and then we have a lover out here. We have the lover's card out here. So what I'm picking up here is that you guys are in the process of moving on from something that you are no longer um, interested in that you're no longer seeing fit in, that you are seeing it for what it is with the third eye here. You're, 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 you're beginning to listen to the way that you feel. You're listening to your intuition. You know, maybe a certain situation didn't turn out for its best bet or what you thought it would be or what it portrayed itself to be, but you're moving on from it now. And it's, um, you know, it's, you're, you're actually stepping into abundance, I'm hearing you're actually stepping into new ways of being a entire shift is taking place the more that you you know move away move out from this energy why is dreams coming true in the reverse healing begins and seek the truth in the reverse why is dreams coming true in the reverse mm. Dreams are coming true came up in the reverse. So trying to interpret this because I'm picking up a few things here so bottom of the deck just breathe so let's jump straight into it please forgive the background noise guys because it's yeah a lot going on out there but dreams coming true in the reverse this is a challenge for you you know whatever whatever it is that you're moving on from it is a bit of a challenge to you or for you you know it's beginning to make you feel like you need to you know heal it's it's causing some form of hurt it's causing some form of you know um pain to you whether that be depression anxiety uh overthinking you know just overall just you know, just being stuck in your head being stuck in your emotions you know being overly emotional this could be many forms of challenge for you this could be any form of challenge for you this this situation here is causing for you to move on well whatever you're moving on from or it caused you to move on from you know it it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a challenge that you're moving on from it. But Spirit is saying that you are beginning to heal. Because we have heal in the reverse, but we have healing begins in the upright. So Spirit is saying now you're going to heal. Now you're going to be able to tap into yourself. Now you're going to be able to allow yourself to flow. You're going to allow your inner being to shine. That's what I'm hearing. All right, and then seek the truth and the reverse so you guys have already observed you know this situation for what it is remember when i said you guys have seen something and you've already you know basically tapped into it and figured it out for what it truly was you guys have already done the observing you know looking at it from all different perspectives and you guys are no longer trying to seek truth validation or no or any form of um uh closure you know regarding a situation you don't want to um you know get more information on it because you already see it for what it is now you guys are you're no longer trying to you know wait it out wait it out wait it out you're definitely stepping into your power you're definitely stepping into who you are just by moving on and if you believe that there is something brighter on the other side and if you believe that love is for you or that there's something waiting for you that's way better then know that trust that believe that stand in that power you know and don't let anybody or anything steal that shine take that away from you because there's energies out here who will who literally wants to take that away from you steal your shine and steal your life don't ask me why they just want to <laughs> 
So what's the energy regarding this um, moving on? Please and thank you. Hmm. So we have the world and the upright. So this cycle has already closed. I could be speaking to a Leo with the lion here. I could be speaking to a Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries as well. I'm picking up some Sagittarius. So this could be significant to you. But I'm being told that this has already ended. This has already closed out. This situation has already closed out, which is why the healing begins, which is why the moving on card has already, you know, been taken place. This is why it's in progress, you know. So you've already moved on from this. What you've moved on from, the hyphen in the reverse, 1111 on the phone. So the hyphen in the reverse, the star in the reverse. Um, ay, ay, ay. The eight of cups in the reverse. And then the page of cups in the reverse. So it's like someone is holding on to something. Someone is trying not to let go. This is why the moving on is still here. Some of you may still be holding on, you know, not completely letting go. Maybe you might, you could possibly be emotionally bound to this, um, uh, attracted to this or connected with this. So this is why it's taking a little bit of time for you to, you know, fully let go. This could be a um, commitment, which is why the lover's card is out here. But it's a bit of a challenge, dude. And I understand that. We've all been through this and we've all, you know, had to go through a phase in our life where we have to literally just up and go. It, it comes to that point, you know, because we literally, we just let things go. It's We let things, you know, become overdue in our life. And they basically um, overstay their welcome is what I'm hearing. And they no longer serve us purpose. They're no longer, you know, allowed to be in our energy field. So it's challengeful to just let it go because we love these people. We love these things. You know, we actually have connected with it. We've grown a bond with it. And now, if it's not for us, we have to literally just pick ourselves up, put on our, 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 our equipment, and walk away. It's not hard. Excuse me. Ooh, it's not hard for some of you. But it's a challenge. So it's not hard. It's a challenge, though, is what I'm getting. Wow, that's beautiful. So you guys can do it. It's just a bit of a challenge. With 1301 on the phone, you guys can do it. And you see this 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 shield here? You guys have to you or had to put on your your armor, your gear, your 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 um fighting your fighting suit and literally, you know, your strength suit and literally stand in your power and walk away. Wow, that's true, 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 you know, um inner 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 power that's true deep ancient inner power because if you can have that ability to control your life you have that say so over self that's true self you know like knowledge that's true self understanding like that's that's really powerful to uh obtain that's a very good trait to have if I can pick myself up or if I can even, you know, observe situations for what it is, look at it from all. So you guys are intuitive. Okay, cool. So if I can literally um, analyze or view a situation for, you know, what it truly is and be able to decipher whatever it is uh, that it is and, you know, dictate if it's for me, 1414 on the phone. If I have that um, inner um, willing or that inner power to do so, that is, that's, that's power in itself right there. That's strength in itself right there. Picking up very strong Leo energy. You guys are definitely like dominant strength. You know, like you, you definitely like powerful beings. So you have that, that say so. You have that 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 um, entitlement when it comes to who you are and what you want. You set boundaries for yourself, you know? You let it be known that, hey, that's not what I want to do. That's not where I want to go. And by you standing in that power, you know, you're able, you're capable of, you know, obtaining the life that you want. You're capable of assessing or um, having access 
to the life that you want which explains why this if you believe is out here if you see it it's yours if you want it it's yours what is the overall So we have the page of swords in the reverse. So this is you having that um, higher perspective over something or just viewing something or uh, let's just say watching something obsessively I'm hearing. Um, you have stepped completely out of that energy, which is why you have moved on. And now people are wanting to cause chaos and conflict because you walked away because you already moved on. Okay, thank you. And then now they're wanting to fight with you, but you're not having it. You're not doing that because that's not who you are. That's not what you want anymore. These people want to come in as knights in your life. These people want to come in and offer you the less, be the less, you know, just overall, um, they're way below what you're worth. And you know that these places, these things, these people are way below you. They, they, they can never amount to the energy that you hold the goddess that you are, you know, the, um, the hyphen that you are, the intuitive high priestess that you are. They can never tap into that. So these people are upset with you. These people are, you know, obsessed with you, I'm hearing. These people are even, you know, judging you. Wow. They're judging you for moving on. They're, they're, they're gossiping about you. They're, they're wishing you, they're setting bad intentions for you is what I'm picking up. You know, they're, they're, they're wanting this. It's like a, a love hate. They, they love you. They love you because of who you are and what you have and, you know, how abundant you are and how highly spiritual, highly spiritually ranked you are. I'm hearing they love that about you. They see that in you, but they hate, they hate that they can't get next to you. They hate that they can't be with you anymore. They hate that they can't eat at your table anymore because you've seen it with the tower here. You've seen them for who they were. You've seen that they only wanted you for your money. For your money, yes. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So y'all finally came to that conclusion. All right. So what happened now? Mm. Look, somebody's stuck. Somebody's stuck in their way. Somebody's stuck on the way that they feel. Somebody's stuck on what they know. Somebody's stuck on that on that knowledge that they have. So somebody definitely found something out is what I'm getting. Somebody definitely sees something from a different perspective. They no longer want to come in and offer. They no longer want to come in and, um, you know, basically put up a fight. Remember, this was in the reverse. They don't, you don't want to do this no more. You're tired of that. You're standing on your word. You're standing on your power. That's your power. You see your kingdom behind you. You're standing in that. You're standing on that. Nobody's coming in. Nobody's getting in between. You're no longer fighting. You don't, you no longer want conflict. You no longer want chaos. You're not trying to be, you know, in the scene, in the crowd, in the mix. You no longer want to do that. Honestly, what you want to do is move on and, 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 and be open and ready for this, for this abundance that spirit has for you look you leaving people out in the cold you no longer have time you no longer have time why because you want your you want your cups you want what spirit has for you you want that abundance you literally do remember that leo here's leo again i'm picking up leo energy i could be speaking to a leo you're definitely standing in your strength you're standing in your power nobody's going to get in between you and your kingdom and that's just that look the tower hit you leaving people out in the cold the tower hit you're done remember you're no longer dealing with this. You don't want chaos and conflict. You don't want to fight no more. You don't want to be emotionally bound or tied up or stuck in your thoughts, you know, just reminiscing. Look, you don't want to be doing all this. Why? That's why it's coming out in the reverse. You don't want to be in that energy anymore. You literally want to just turn your back and walk away from this toxic, detrimental, you know, just draining energy that you were dealing with. All right, spirit. So now what's going on with this energy? 
What is this energy doing once it moves on? Please and thank you. What happens once this energy moves on? Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. Look, bottom of the deck, that tower, that tower hit, that tower gonna keep hitting. Because you guys have already came to your senses. You came to your awareness. You already analyzed it. You already seen it for what it was. You've seen the situation for what it was. And you're no longer stuck in this energy. You're no longer wanting to give and take, give and take, give and take. You know, it's not like that anymore. You no longer even want to deal with this energy I'm hearing. Whatever it was that you were dealing with, you no longer want parts of it. You don't want to even be, you don't even want it in your energy field. Wow. It may have been, remember this challenge, it may have been a bit of a challenge. It can even be a little heavy for you guys. For some of you, you know, this situation overall may have left you guys feeling a little distorted, feeling a little bit, um, you know, 2121 on the phone, feeling a little bit lack of worth, lack of hope, lack of faith, you know. So now it's time to step back into your power. Now it's time, time to believe. Now it's time to start believing to get back into, you know, the things that we know. Because we are definitely the high priestess. We are definitely the empresses. We are the emperors. We know what we want. We are the creators our, of our reality. So now it's time to take this and stand on it. Because you cannot get somewhere unless you go through something. So this is not your, This is you're not victim. No, you're not. You're not the victim in this story. You know, you're not, you're not the charity case you're not the sad case this didn't this this wasn't happening to you this was happening for you don't you ever forget that your ancestors will never just throw you under the bus and let you just you know leave you for the sharks that's not what they're here for they're here to teach you show you so that you will learn and you'll know your worth 22 22 they will never ever ever leave you under the bus like that don't ever forget that. They're always here for you. They're always there for you. They will never leave your side. Hmm. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Mm, look, the High Priestess. There y'all go. wow okay so this ace of swords is that offer that um spirit promised you that abundance that you're um that awaits you literally is literally around the corner i'm hearing i'd say about three to four three to six weeks you should be seeing abundance an abundant amount of abundance an immense amount of abundance and abundance doesn't just fall in the aspect of um money it can be abundance in love abundant in light and bond abundant in um you know healing energy abundant in purified energy peaceful energy you could be abundant in many many aspects you could be abundant you could be abundant in you know just literally self loving yourself you could be abundant in your intuitive you know high priestess side so you guys are definitely abundant in all aspects you don't have to worry about any of that but you guys, um, you got your, you, I see you got your guard up now. Like, remember when I said you, you don't want to fight no more. You don't want to keep having to deal. You're literally, you're standing on yours. Nobody's getting in this tower. No, ooh, nobody's getting in this tower. Nobody's getting in the way of your kingdom. You're keeping that sword up. You're keeping that guard up because you're protecting what's behind that. Look, you're protecting this this offer that spirit literally promised for you and that you know you'll get with the high priestess out here. You know it's for you. You know what awaits you. You know what you asked for and you know it's already yours. You are the manifestor. You are the creator of your own reality. Yes, you are. And you're not letting anybody or anything sabotage that anymore. How about that? You guys are definitely working hard for what you want. You're believing it. You're, you know what you want. You know what you deserve. You know what you see. You already have the vision. You already paved the way. Now just put in that effort. You already moved forward. You already moved on. 
Yeah, it's a bit of a challenge. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, you cry here and there. Yeah, it beats you up, but it's not you. It will never be a part of you because it cannot be you. It cannot be with you. That's why you had to move on from it. Hmm. Is there anything else, Princess, that you like for us to know? You don't want that. This is deceit, betrayal, you know, shame, hate, harm, hurt. You don't want that. You're done. You just want light. You just want love. 2555. You just want change. You want better. You literally want to just be in your own way. You want to do your own thing. You want to be on your own time. You don't want nobody else to say so. You really don't care about what nobody else got to say if I'm being completely real. But that's just the way that it is. You've completely stepped into your empress energy, your emperor energy. With this king of swords out here, you guys have definitely began to stand your ground and stand in your power. Nobody's getting in the way of that anymore. 26, 26 on the phone. Hmm. What is this knight of swords? Okay, so yeah, now we got somebody wanting to come in and rush. We got somebody coming in to, you know, cause conflict, to cause order out of chaos, I'm hearing. To literally just disturb your peace because you've already moved forward. You already moved on. Look, the tower hit. You already let them go. Look, and now you already lost their emo. You already lost the emotions for it. You know, you've already moved through it. There's no stability there. There's no, there's no formal, you know, communicative connections there's no love there anymore there's no desire for you to stay you literally move forward from this queen of swords you literally move on this is why the tower is out here this is why you're no longer looking back at the pain you're no longer looking back at the hurt at the um at the guilt you're no longer looking back at the uh the lies the betrayal the manipulation you're literally moving on from this energy What's this Eight of Pentacles out here? I'm picking up heavy emperor energy. Look, you're no longer putting in work into that because you know what comes behind it. You know what comes behind it. This person could be nice to you one day and then a couple days later, they hell on wheels and you mad with them. So you know you don't want that. You know you don't want that. The world already out here. The world already out here. The tower already out here. Moving on is already out here. Look, and now this is you. Triumph, victory, success. You've already moved forward in the sun at the bottom of the deck. Look at you, illuminated, glorious, joyful. This is joy. This is um success this is your uh abundance that is coming from spirit original definition is that you guys are in this energy you are in this triumph you know successful energy because you've moved forward from this energy you cannot get anything from spirit you know that is desert that's destined for you if you have bad parasites you know with you look in the empress in the reverse you can't if you have parasites with you you can't get that look you know you know what you needed to do you had to turn your back on this um oh i almost said on this information you had to turn your back on this with the death here you had to turn your back on this you already closed the cycle out you already ended things you know you no longer want to tap into that because you know this may have you know been a little bit of a challenge to you like i mentioned earlier yes this was a bit of a challenge where's my challenge card spirit 
yes this was a bit of a challenge it was hurtful it left you you know feeling distorted for some of you look at the ten of cups in reverse it wasn't what you thought it wasn't your wish fulfillment it was not you know who you thought it was it was not this beautiful uh you know just jolly connection that was claimed to be it was something very 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 yeah opposite so hmm what am i getting all right that is it for that you guys know once you feel the energy of something and once you start to pick up bad energy from something because you guys are definitely the high priestess so you definitely know what's up you definitely can sense when something is off or not right you definitely have that so that's not a problem you are the sun you know that's not a problem but it's just you know protecting ourselves it's literally just staying safe keeping safe from these energies from these parasites because they come with with all of this baggage and all of this karma and if you're in the way of that you, you you're going to get it as well as a matter of fact that's going to delay your karma and be mindful that karma is not always bad there's good karma all right so just stay optimistic stay assertive be assertive be aware be open you know be cautious even with who you're dealing with and also allow trust just breathe all right i'm going to pull some of my final um this is my personal deck here i actually just did like some confirmational answers from spirit maybe some things that um some additional messages that spirit would like for you to know if you are interested you definitely don't have to watch this part of the video this is just you know some external additional messages from our guides here so any additional messages spirit please and thank you Thank you. That's it. Okay. All right. I don't know if I'm going to get that. Okay. So we have take it easy, rest. Pretending will only cause more conflict. Take your friend's advice. It's divine guidance in disguise. Pisces. Could be speaking to a Pisces. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Could have Pisces in your birth chart. You have to let go. The time has come. Divine or drive safe today <laughs> for my um wild hogs out there and then for the last one leo plus aquarius equals divine perfect match all right so that wraps up my video i definitely appreciate you guys so so much for all of the undivided attention love and support that i'm receiving today thank you so so much um bottom of the deck have power over your dominion you guys already know this but without further ado i just want to send you guys nothing but a powerful love light and healing energy i hope that you guys take heed to this reading today if it was yours accept it you know take it if it wasn't leave it it's not don't make the shoe fit only if it fits wear it thank you guys so 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 much i truly love you guys bye